take this opportunity to uh, introduce uh, Dr. Go uh, from SGI. Obviously, the challenges of Exascale here are far beyond just the processor. And so SGI is one of Intel's great partners of delivering that at the system level. We can have him talk about some of the challenges that they foresee getting to Exascale. Thank you, Kurt. We and SGI, uh, SGI and Intel are working towards building an exascale system uh, by 2018. So we need to deliver an exaflop by 2018. It requires close collaboration. And this is uh, an impression of what the system could look like uh, by 2018. We have to solve together a number of technology breakthroughs. Number one, density. Number two, power. Number three, resiliency. And number four, the communication overheads that we have to deal with when multi-million cores sometimes need to talk to each other. Mm. So these are the, the major breakthroughs that we have to figure out together. Um, let's talk about density just very quickly. Now, as Intel drives Moore's Law to give us compute density, SGI also has to work on packaging to give you density. So today's uh, density, the best most could do is to put uh, two sockets onto a very slim blade like this and remove all other overheads. You can probably shrink it a little further. And then if you have a second blade, it will be about this big. So we came up uh, with an idea, working with Intel, to think of an idea we can double the density without having to make drastic changes to the components. And this is what we did. We took it this way and folded it in. <laughs> right? <laughs> this is just one idea, right? I brought, I brought this along today to show you the amount of innovation that's required to get us there. This is step one. There'll be more, many more steps. As Kirk mentioned, Intel Trigate is a three-dimensional chip. This will start to become a three-dimensional node, and we will work together marching forward towards this machine. So that's on the density front. But taking the compute power we have today, the bigger system, to 2018, to be an exaflop, will require about 100x, as Kirk mentioned. The precise calculation is 125x. Moore's law will give us 25x in seven years. You can work it out. Seven divided by uh, 1.5, two to the power of that answer. So who's going to give us the balance five? That's Mike. We are working closely with Intel, as you have seen from Kirk's chart, to give you more compute power, more cores, and yet lower uh, electrical power. That extra 5x. We're going to get more than 5x. We need that more than 5x to give us a net 5x is what uh, the remaining amount that we will get from the mic architecture. This indeed will be the collaboration, uh, other collaboration with Intel. Based on recent uh, uh, work, uh, we believe we can get the goal of an exaflop by 2018 in the power envelope as Kirk has stated. But that's not the end of the story. In many of our discussions with uh, customers, I mean, SGI has between 100 to 300 high-end, high-performance computing customers. Over the two years when they have uh, collaborated on moving their code to accelerators, like GPUs, yes, it is true, a portion of them were very happy putting in the effort to move the code over. But more and more, we are also seeing a large portion of the remaining have realized that the amount of effort is getting tough especially with the multitude of codes out there. So they would like a much friendlier porting environment to move from today's petascale to exascale without having to change their codes as far as possible. And this is where the second part of Mike is very important to us. And this is where SGI believes this is the right way to go. 
because software investment is becoming expensive. So I thought I'd bring up one slide to show you what the, I myself have tried, so because I can't tell you if I've not tried it myself, uh, our customers have also tried. If you have the Intel Xeon processor on the left and the new mic uh, processor uh, on the right that has 32 cores, the one on the left has six cores, if you just simply wrote a kernel that calculates pi, just as an example, this is a kernel. If you did a Pragma OpenMP parallel, which most customers do today, this code will automatically run on the six cores of the Xeon. This is what's occurring today, normally. How do you then get this code to run on the 32 blue squares? And all I did was to put Pragma offload target to mic, and it goes over. And this is how easy it is, as Professor Bo has mentioned, how easy it is to move a code over. And this, to me, was essential to, to, for us believing this is the right way to go for Exaflop. Because not only will the customer be spending tens of millions, hundreds of millions of dollars to get to Exaflop by 2018, you don't want to spend the equal, equivalent amount to support software. Yeah. And on that note, I thank you.